Well, anyways, y'all, here is my upstairs bathroom, the way it is right now. I'm going to show it to you, and I'm just going to warn you that it is going to be nasty. Okay? Because of what's in the toilet. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you. So, this one is not going to require nearly much as much of the works. Um, that little thing that Bob Zoxley got for me because there was no fixture on it. Um, when I bought this place, the realtor didn't actually even know that a bathtub had been installed up here yet because this whole area was just had um, extra drywall on it. Okay, there was no door up on here. I mean, we didn't really put it in proper, but Zoxley just rehung the door for me real quick. Um, it's been some years ago, but there was all this drywall stuff and there were some bigger sheets that were just all, like this whole doorway and everything was just filled with sheets of um, cut drywall from like leftover scraps from the rest of the house, etc. Okay, so the realtor literally did not even know that there was a bathtub in here. So it was still, it still had the blue plastic in it and everything. Like they had just put it in. Um, so anyways, it's, it's not fancy, okay? But again, what happened is before I came back, so the water on this toilet has been off for a while because it has a thing where the insides are just leaking down a little bit, okay? So I turned off the water and then even when I turned the water back on, I had it on briefly. But again, downstairs it looked like there was a dead animal in the toilet. So I'm just going to show you. I haven't actually used this toilet. And it's been years since this toilet has actually been used. Okay, so if you look in there, um, wow, it's nasty. But that right there, okay, is an animal skull. And I think what it is is that the person that I let, yeah, so this is like mold on the toilet seat from when it was closed after it was winterized and everything. But look at how bad, I'm not even going to lift up that toilet seat right now. But look at how bad um, the toilet is. Because also when you have well water like this and you turn off your water for a long time, things get even nastier. So in here, um, it looks like this right now. The light is not super good. But what it is, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the water back on, even though it's going to be leaking and at least it will kind of work. Um, but yeah, so that person who seemed to be desperate to have a place to park his camper I had to get him access to my key to be able to get inside because I had turned off all the the electric breakers except for the sump pump and his friend our mutual friend who had introduced us a while back was the one looking after my property while I was gone um, occasionally coming because my sump pump was having problems turning itself on um, so he would just make sure that my basement stayed unflooded. He was mowing the lawn for me and things like that. So I was kind of trying to, you know, and, and, and him and his wife, they like don't really accept much from me. Like I try to like do things for them. I'm like, no, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. So I was trying to pay it forward to his friend by letting him park his camper here for just like a place to live for a while for free, except for the utility bill. And this person was acting so desperate and again, it seemed like he was even having even worse of a drug problem. And he robbed me. He was here for two days um, before I came back into town and was basically just here long enough to rob me. And I think what it is, is he had picked up, found like a couple of dead mice in the house. And it seems like he threw them into the toilet bowls. And I honestly think that it was an act of malignancy because, you know, this guy is a total fucking loser. He had spent you know at the time that his friend introduced him to me hoping that he could have somebody just to talk to and shoot the hay with every once in a while like you know just socialize he had spent like 10 years basically locking himself in a camper um, on his mom's property just smoking pot and getting high every single day total fucking loser okay so this guy here I was trying to help him out and give him a place to live um, he one day calls me at some absurd hour and it like totally on some sort of substances and it was like seeming to express that he expected me or was hoping that we would be friends with benefits i'm like okay i'm letting you have a place to park your your camper for free and now you want me to have sex with you um you're you you're out of your fucking mind basically and i kind of just had to level with him like look i have these boundaries you're being extremely inappropriate with me you know and then it was to a point where he was like the arrangement was going to be that he was going to be able to come inside 
after I got back and got the water on to like use like the toilet and shower occasionally and stuff like that. But he was being so inappropriate. I was like, you know, I really don't like, you know, it's fine. You can keep your camper there, but I'm starting to feel really uncomfortable about the idea of you being in the house with me. And again, this is not somebody who works on any of this stuff with me. It's just somebody who grew up locally, who I kind of had some pity for and who I had known for years and still decided to rob me and steal my chainsaw and my ladder and different tools and all this stuff. I mean, he had, sorry, this place is kind of a mess right now and I'm going to be relocating one of my kitchen shelves soon. But I mean, this little trap door back in here was hanging open. There's nothing back in there. I'll show it to you guys again. But all it is is this little thing holds it open. Okay, it's not like it can just open itself. I don't want the Peyton to get in there. Okay, but I, I don't have a light. Let's see. It's got like a wood floor. You can't see it really well. And it goes back quite a ways. Okay, and it's also like an access to run electrical to this bedroom that's over here. Okay, that's my daughter's bedroom. Um, it's all a disaster, guys. <laughs> but um, but no, that was hanging open. I have a, a, a place where the drywall is missing in my room. Um, upstairs, this was Oxley's room while he was there and I was in the down, I was, I have two bedrooms. Um, but I was in my downstairs bedroom and he had gone, he'd opened up the drywall and like left it open and stuff too. And um, looking in every single nook and cranny, going through my, went through my panty drawers, like everything, looking for valuables to rob me. Okay, somebody that I was trying to help. So again, people, sometimes it's gonna be the people close to you and like the losers close to you that are gonna screw you over, okay? So anyways, this jackass, um, you know, apparently found a couple of dead mice in the house when he came in. And that was my other time. He was like, oh, I'm going to come in and I'm going to sweep for you. And I think it was his front for in case anybody mentioned to me that somebody was up in my house and the lights were on while he was ransacking my house. Okay. And I'm not somebody, it's like my primary thing of value here that I left behind is I have about $15,000 of fabric from my clothing line, but he's like kind of a jackass. He was working by himself. So he didn't steal my laundry machines. Otherwise, he probably would have. And for some reason, he was so stupid, he left my Ryobi brush cutter behind. Okay, but he, I don't know if you guys saw my video where he left me a treasure map with some of my things. And some of the things that he returned to me are things that he couldn't pawn, like my chainsaw because it has a serial number. Um, and then I had mentioned to my friend, I did leave one set of Olympic bars that are a very novelty item. And they're silver behind that he stole. Okay. And I had the box and all the paperwork for that. He left behind the box and the paperwork. And I let my friend know, you, you know, your friend that robbed me left behind this stuff. And it's extremely trackable because these are <laughs> extreme novelty items. You know, he stole a pewter belt buckled belt of mine that he did not return. Okay. So I don't know if the pawn shop gave him like two bucks for that because it wasn't silver. You know, but anyways, a couple of my axes he returned to me. This is a guy who his shoulder is all fucked up. He can't even use that stuff, okay? He can't even use an axe or a chainsaw. And he was just stealing my shit to pawn off somewhere out of the area because I, I asked the local pawn shop. Anyways, this jackass has put... I do not think that those animals got in there organically because, again, the tops were closed. I don't think it's like they crawled up all through my septic system. So... Just an act of malignancy, he threw some dead animals into my toilets, okay, while he was robbing me because I, I wasn't going to have sex with this loser who I was going to let can't park here for free, okay? So, again, people, sometimes trying to help people out is just not worth it. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to turn the water back on, get the dead animal skulls and shit flushed out of there. Um, yeah, because whatever he threw in there, it was... Uh, It'd been a little while because there was like, um, it was like a month and a half that passed between when he was here and when I got back. So even when the water was, whatever he had thrown in there was kind of like stuck to the thing. And I was like, I wasn't really about to take a brush and everything. So anyways, going to start working on this situation. Um, you kind of saw how nasty it is. And that's just the realities of coming back to a place with crappy kind of water, plus with some jackass throwing dead animals into your toilet. So I'm going to hop to it.